Welcome back. We are looking at Vue.js and specifically doing a really odd introductory uh, <laughs> lesson to it, if you will, or exploration with it by trying to create a game or starting to create a game, something like that. I don't know. Don't push me on this. Now, before the break, I spoke about having a player object, and so I want to make a player component. So player, and I'll just make it a self-closing thing, and we'll give it a template of its own. Template ID player template. And here we'll just give another div class player. Okay, uh, what's not closed properly? Something's not closed properly here because I have this weird highlighting. Mm. Does it not like self-closing divs? Is that the problem? No, we're fine with that now. Okay, fine. So uh, let's define a player, player, and no props for this. It's fine. Okay, errors. We have errors. There are errors. I think it is because this is self-closing and this is not XHTML. Did that solve it? No, that didn't solve it. Also, why have I got two of these things? That's pretty weird. How do I, what? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. So something's going wrong here. Uh, row. I think this is a problem. I think these self-closing things are a problem which is kind of disappointing. But anyway, I mean, that's that seems to have solved it. So. What's weird is the arrangement of this. I don't know if it's just that the, um, just that the view uh, dev tools is just reading these in a different order if they, or if they are actually in a different order, I'm not sure. But let's give the player some styling. So the player is, um, The player is also one of these things. I'll just call it like this. I won't give it a border, but I will give it a background of RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0.1. 0. 1, eh. Something like that. Um, and position absolute <laughs> top zero, left zero. Okay, now um, this, let's just give this a border as well, the same border, just so that it's dimensionally the same. However, now we have a thing. Now we have a thing. Um, we have this player object and it should be above all the other, um, all the other cells. Yes, it is, okay. It's above all the other cells. But now we need to trap keyboard events for things like movement um, and so maybe, maybe what we can do over here is view. So the long hand of this is view on, I'll just say click for the moment because I want to see something happen. Click alert clicked. Okay. Let's just test this out and take this step by step. Click no alerts are happening there, which is disappointing. <laughs> Um, that's an expression. Why is this not, uh, why is this not working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scope alert is not a function. Window dot alert. Alert of undefined. This is pretty weird. Okay. Um, let's say, let's say, uh, let's bind this to And this expression can be count plus equals one. And that is uh, not working. Um, but if we go to the if we go to the player component and we say data just to initialize this count zero. 
Maybe that's the problem. Data option should be a function. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, function return an array with data zero. Maybe that's better. Oh, that's still not working. That is still not working. Data zero, data count. Um, huh. B on click. I know the shorthand for this is at, but I don't think that's the problem. I'm hoping that's not the problem. No. No, that's pretty weird. Do we have our custom text in here? Can we do something like that? Oh, is it behind? Is it actually behind? What if we put this at the bottom of the rows? There, oh, also that's not the place to put that. Um, I'm being so dumb. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> oh, okay. So I make a template variable. This is the funny thing. I make a template variable. Take all of the stuff off. Make a player template. And uh, and then I don't use it to make changes to the markup. Why can I not see this text? Tell me, why can I not see the text? Oh, because I made fonts. <laughs> okay. I feel a little dumb. I feel a little dumb. Okay, so let's change this back to count. So we should see zero there again. And let's say at click is count plus equals one. And now I should be able to increment this count. Yay, that's really cool. Okay, so we can do a click event here. Let's take this value out here. Um, let's by default, uh, let's just take the cell value out here as well because I don't need this specifically, which means I should have a whole lot of empty cells. That's fine. Um, instead of click, key down. And then alert key. Will the alert work again or have I got the same problem as I had before? No. Maybe I need to do this on the app, which is kind of Oh, kind of disappointing. Oh, Vue.js, please. Because I want to capture, I want to capture um, uh, WAS and D keys is the thing. Inline statement, clicking event modifiers, on key up 13 equals submit, but that's on an input. View directive on key codes. That's not what I want. Um, okay, uh, view JS, view JS body key down. Oh no. On click previous key up. Global key press events are not dispatched to your A elements. It's better to handle global key press events separately. Attach listeners to window on the components ready event. No. Oh. Sigh. Okay. Um. Okay, let's do this on the player then. Let's do this on the player. So when this is created, then we attach some events. 
Pretty darn. Also, not those. And I want to call this um, key down, I guess. Um, we need a methods object. Key down function key. Okay, and then we console log whatever this is key, key, in key, whatever, e key. Let's try that. It is so e key. Whatever. Uh, okay. Keyboard event. Key, which is the thing I want? I think maybe or code key W. Key A. That's interesting. Um. Okay. Uh. What is that? What is that property called? Code. Maybe I'll just wazd it. Maybe I'll, okay, put that back and clear this and WASD. Okay, take it a while. Okay, so if E key, uh, E code is key W, I'll just do it like that. Or will I do it by actual key dot which? I think which is maybe better. 87 W. I won't do configurable keys for now because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. A is 65. I really should know these by now of all the web dev I've done. 83. And D is 68. A S D and let's even console log these console log W A S and D D W A S good okay that's working so what do we do in this case um for the moment let's just move the player the grid uh we don't actually have a grid size that we're passing down to the player so maybe we should say um let's see grid is grid is 32 and when we create this and we give it data, we can say grid 32. And we can actually pass that down. So if we go up here and we say grid, well, I mean, do we want to do that? We should actually pass it to here as well. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's pass it to the player as well, which means the player needs to accept it. Which means we need a props, uh, uh, yeah, props. Grid. And then we'll say when you push W, um, this style top minus equals this grid. Because why not? I mean, this is very, this is very naive implementation. Um, when you press D, you're going right. So this is left, and this is plus equals. Um, also. The grid as I've defined it in CSS is actually 34, not 32. Anyway, when you press S, you're going down, so it's top plus equals that, and this is left minus equals when you press A. Okay, hopefully that makes some sense. Oh, left of undefined. Uh, pants. How do you do that? How do you reference elements? Hmm. 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 Vue.js reference element. Um. Hmm. 
I don't know. <laughs> QJS component element node. This L. Like that. Could it be? Is that it? Lame. That didn't work. Also, it has not actually adjusted that. So, so, ha. Huh. It's not giving me an error there, but I don't think that's the right thing. Um, I'll tell you what we do. Let's console log this and see what we have. Player, L div player. So that is actually that thing. This L style left. Do I need to plus px on this? Because if I do, that's kind of, well, hmm. this l offset top plus that plus px. I hope this isn't what I have to do. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to abstract this a little bit because it's pretty, pretty mank. Also, this is minus this grid. Um, and this is offset left plus this grid. This is offset top plus this grid. And this is offset left minus, uh, no, plus this grid. So this is minus actually. Wow, we let me explain this if I get it to work. Okay, sort of. That's sort of working. 